had a panic attack this week. So that was exhausting. Yeah, that panic attack really took a lot out of me. For me, particularly thinking way too far in the future um, can, you know, really kickstart my anxiety. So that's what happened this week. Also being like on my cycle doesn't help. Everything is like amped up to like the nth degree. My panic attack was brought on by just worry, self-doubt. Um, what if this doesn't work? What if, yeah, what if things don't work out? And not even just for my business. Like I don't have a job right now. I've been applying to jobs and getting those left and right. There's finally uh, some forward moving momentum with like my training program. With that, I will have some income. Um, so there's thankful for that. But like things are just so expensive. Rent is increasing because we're going to renew our lease in like the next several months. And that, you know, information came through. So that is sort of what like hit it for me. Um, was sort of like the straw that broke the camel's back. And I mean, Eve, like I never actually, well, I don't know. I never actually feel like nothing's going to work or I don't feel like I'm going to be left like out in the dust but um it's always just like how is it going to happen it's always the how because i'm a planner and i have always like for all of my life i've already know i always knew what was going to come next and the unknown is very scary the unknown is very scary and so that's sort of that's definitely what and i also had to like get out of the house and go to uh like a doctor's appointment and i was very very hot i'm like the older I'm getting like heat I'm just like I, I like a heat intolerance I feel like it was very hot um I had to get out I was like being on my cycle you know I'm, I'm having cramps and I'm tired and I'm literally having mood swings. like it's, it's so much happening everything was just compounded on top of one another and it was just like I got in the car and I was like I'm an hour early so it's like I was rushing for nothing and that just really did it for me and panic attack set right in um so i came back in to get water because i was going to take my um xanax to you know help with the panic attack but i didn't have water and the last time i did that the last time i took xanax without water it fucked up my esophagus and i was in so much pain so i came back up and then my boyfriend he was like what is going on he's like maybe you need to call and tell him you need to reschedule and sometimes I feel like I need permission to make space for myself. That's something that I really, really need to, or make decisions that are better for myself. I really need to do better at that. And I'm, I have gotten better, way better at that now. But when I'm in the, the midst of anxiety and panic, it's like logic and reason and common sense kind of just like goes out of the door. And I default into um, doing what I'm supposed to do. You know, it's like I'm expected for this doctor's appointment. I have to go. That happened and I've been tired ever since. So yesterday was mostly a sleeping day. What also can worry me and give me anxiety is like, you need money, you get a job. Like that's the point blank. But like understanding my disability because being neurodivergent is a disability. Just like needing glasses is a disability. It may not seem, when we hear disability, we think like being extremely disadvantaged in a physical or health wise whatever but it's, it's a disability because things are difficult because of it and not because of it because the world doesn't make space for you to be that and recognizing you know the changes in my life and my body like i don't always have the energy and the capacity and the brain power to work nine to five and that was happening with my last job a lot because my anxiety really was just like taking the front seat um, sort of running the show so it's like that worries me too it's like I'm applying to jobs and it's just like will I be able to do these jobs like I know I have the skills and the expertise I know I have all of that but it's like do I have the spoons for it and the answer is no and then that's like well then I really need to make this entrepreneur journey really take the fuck off like it needs to be my main source of income um as opposed to you know a job and that's very blanket like of course there's nuance like there's some jobs that probably won't require so much of me but it's like I have to work on their time they can't work on my time but in my business with running my own business I work on my own time I set my own time I set my own everything 
and that seems much more liberating so it's just like it feels like a, a you know a catch 22 there's pros and cons with having the job you know you get benefits taxes are already taken out you don't gotta worry about a lot of that shit you have constant income coming in but i don't have the spoons for it all the time i need to you know and that brings on anxiety it's like i'm not I, like what if i get fired because i don't have the spoons and i'm seeing it's like no my you know it, it, all of that constantly circling in my head all of that constantly circling in my head if i do this business like am i setting myself up to be broke <laughs> am i setting myself up to fail for a lack of better words you know i get really caught up in a lot of those thoughts um and it kind of just circles around in my head yesterday i was feeling good i was very it was very much like a chill enjoy myself day i have not been working out because i've been exhausted um i would like to do something today like go for a walk or maybe go swimming but I don't know. I'm tired. The only thing that I really want to kind of do is write. Uh, right now in my business, it's like it, I want to do so many things at the same time too. And I don't have, or I have a difficulty with streamlining things, slowing down and like taking things one thing at a time. I want to multitask everything. Like if I could, if I had like two brains and four arms in one body, I'd I feel like I still won't be able to get enough done because then it's like I can do more I can do more and it's like do what you can now I really need to like get that tattoo on my brain do what you can do what you can do what you can do what you can what I can do right now is uncross myself look because what is going on I look I look like I have a panic attack and that was a couple days ago I've been recuperating ever since but